Now, from Woodstock to working with the recovery community, a Bismarck man's life of service will never be forgotten. Now, that's right. New this morning, Nikki Johnson, she met with the family and friends of Tom Regan, who recently lost his batter, battle with cancer. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. The community suffered a great loss when Tom died on Valentine's Day this year. But with that loss comes the legacy he left behind, the legacy of loving as many people as he could. So how do you sum up the character of a jack of all trades? Take a look. I couldn't resist. He was just charming and sweet and caring and funny. And before I knew it, Three months later, we were married. They celebrated 40 years of marriage in 2020. Tom's known as a family man, and his daughter Ellen says she and her dad shared many interests, including music. Led Zeppelin, of course, always. Janis Joplin. Um, we loved Neil Young. Loved Neil Young. Um, the Doors. Uh, Gypsy Foot, which is a local artist. Um, loved sending him that. And I sent a lot of reggae stuff to him because that's what I'm into, and he actually... Sometimes I'd hear him listening to it, so that was always cool. Ellen and her mom say he cared about everything and everyone. <laughs> he very much an animal lover and um, very much concerns about um, anybody in the community who had struggles or who had uh, barriers that they were facing. Besides his love for music and animals, he worked with United Way for 15 years and went on to get a degree in addiction counseling later on in his career, working alongside Kurt Snyder from Heartview Foundation. And and I know as a young man, his love for music and he left Woodstock and hitchhiked back to his radio uh, gig that he had and made it just in time to go on the air. And, um, you know, in his uh, recovery chronicles, I was always, you know, just impressed with Tom. You could talk to him and he'd be like anybody. But as soon as he was in front of a mic, he had this magnificent voice that would just come on and be really magical. He used his voice to tell personal recovery stories of people in the community because he's been through it too. When KX News shared Tom's recovery story in 2019, his main message was this. We cannot afford to spin our tires. We can't afford to go backwards. We, uh, recovery is something you have to work on and nurture every single day. Part of nurturing his recovery meant staying physically active, walking and running with Judge David Reich and the Runners Against Destructive Decisions group. Tom was just, uh, he was just a wonderful volunteer for our, our RAD group, a wonderful supporter. He was, you know, he was always there. Uh, if I needed somebody to, to bring coffee or, or, or do something, you know, Tom would always volunteer. That's why the RAD group and Heartview is hosting a special run in Tom's name. I want to do right by Tom. You know, Tom, Tom mattered a lot. And, uh, you know, this Tom's run uh, was our chance to kind of show him and uh, his family how much he mattered to us. And how much he mattered to everyone who had the privilege of knowing him. Tom's Run is open for registration until May 14th and takes place a week later on May 21st. And you don't have to be a runner to be a part of the memorial. Proceeds will be donated to RAD to benefit those in recovery from addiction. For more information on how to register, just click on this link at kxnet.com. And Josh and Alicia, you know, Tom was a really great mentor to me, and I know he'll be greatly missed. I just love all the conversations that we've had and all the stories he had to tell about Woodstock were pretty fun. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Just his recovery chronicles are on KDAC, correct? Down at uh, Dakota Media Access. Exactly. Both mm -hmm. both you and I, Nikki, we uh, we've done some mm -hmm. work there yes. with uh, Mary Van Sickle and all the gang. Yeah. So I mean, it's really cool. I kind of want to check that podcast out. And it's amazing. It sounds like it'd be very impactful, even even after. I mean, and then this this run with the Rad Group. I mean, we I remember that yeah. story like it was yesterday. It just such. Yeah. A neat group, and they go out daily pretty much. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, like three times a week. <laughs> wow. wow. That's awesome. Amazing. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, great story. Thank yeah. you so much, Nikki. Yeah.